saw this bird earlier and it was beautiful. What did it look like? Oh, it was small, medium small, and yellow, I think. Oh boy. You can find over 250 species of birds in Alaska alone. And another 250 species have been documented in Alaska on occasion. That's a lot of birds. Identifying them can be really tough, but it's worth it. Are you sure? Absolutely. Each species has something surprising, impressive, or resourceful that makes it worth learning about. For instance, this American Dipper may not look like much, but it's North America's only truly aquatic songbird. American Dippers swim with their wings and even walk underwater looking for aquatic invertebrates. Tasty. Plus, dippers don't migrate. They find streams with running water and keep swimming even during Alaska's frigid winters. How about black-capped chickadees? <laughs> Seen a million of them. But did you know how great their memories are? Chickadees cache or store food in thousands of hiding spots throughout the forest and find them weeks later so that they have plenty of food throughout the fall and winter. They remember so many hiding spots that their brains actually get bigger each fall. I guess bird brains are pretty smart after all. Does this arctic tern look like a super athlete? Well, it is. These birds have the longest migration on Earth, traveling between the North and South Poles. Researchers estimate that over its lifetime, an arctic tern migrates about 1.5 million miles. That's like traveling to the moon and back three times. This migration isn't their only record. Since they experience summer in both hemispheres, they also see more sunlight than any other creature. Talk about gold medalists. If you don't recognize these birds when you see them, you might not realize that the bird that just flew overhead came all the way from Antarctica. Learning about birds makes life more exciting. This video is the first of our bird ID series. Birds come in all shapes because they live all sorts of different lifestyles. For us, that's really helpful. Perhaps the best way to identify a bird is by its shape. By looking at a bird's body, bill, or wing shape, we can start to figure out what kind of bird we're looking at. I bet you can already identify some birds just by their shape alone. How about this guy? Long, curved neck, stocky body, strong legs for standing, webbed feet for swimming. Looks like a goose. This one has big wings, perfect for soaring, so I bet it's a bird of prey. And it has M-shaped wings. It must be an osprey. Raptors have large wings for soaring, to spot prey below. The osprey soars over water, then dives to catch fish. Sturdy pointed bill, tail feathers propped against what looks like a tree. I bet it's a woodpecker. Nice. This bird looks like a torpedo with wings. Stubby little neck, pointed wings, pointed tail. It's a swallow. These agile birds catch insects on the fly. All natural mosquito control. Without knowing the color or size of those birds, I bet you still had a good guess for each of them. Check out the link in the description for an awesome website that lets you explore bird species by shape. What if two birds are like the same exact shape? We're gonna need some more information. Let's talk about size. Now, size can be tricky, especially if a bird is really far away, but it's important. Without considering size, one might confuse this common raven, which can weigh as much as a chihuahua, with this rusty blackbird, which weighs as much as a chew toy. Proportions, or the relative size of a body part, is even more important. Downy and hairy woodpeckers can look very similar, but hairies are bigger and have bigger bills relative to their heads. One other tip, when identifying a bird, compare its size to a bird that you know well. Is it smaller than a robin or bigger than a raven? Once you've identified a bird's size and shape, you're probably pretty close to figuring out what species it is. Sweet! Recap time. When you look at a bird, take in its shape and try to estimate its size. Note what features stick out to you most. In our next video, we'll talk about colors and patterns. Colors! Wait, I almost forgot the most important tip. Even experts sometimes misidentify birds. Don't be too hard on yourself if you get it wrong. See you next time.